Welcome to C programming. In the previous lesson, we talked about dynamic memory allocation by using the malloc and freeze statements. So the malloc statement is memory allocation. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the calloc statement. So it's not malloc with a M, but calloc with a C. Now, what is calloc? Calloc is continuous allocation, meaning that we can create dynamic arrays with these, with this statement. So let's jump into the coding and see how we can use the calloc statement to create a dynamic array. So in C programming, we go to code blocks, we create a new empty file, we save on the desktop, and we're going to call this dynamic array dot c so a dynamic array so let's start with including our standard input and output library our int main void library int main void function and return zero great so we save this we build and run just to check that everything is good. Our program successfully compiled and we are good to go. So the calloc statement. So the same for calloc, we need to have a pointer. So when we used in the previous lesson the malloc statement, when we create dynamic memory, we need to have something to point towards that newly created memory. Otherwise, we will not be able to use it and work with it. So we need to go and create a integer pointer, for instance. So we're going to create a dynamic integer array. So the int star pointer is a pointer of type int. So it will be able to point towards an integer data type. So now, when we have our pointer variable, we can go and create dynamic memory. So PTR will be then equal to calloc. And our calloc statement is with a C, calloc continuous allocation. And then inside the calloc statement, oops, we can then define the size of the array and also the size of each element in that array. So first parameter is going to be our size. So let's make this a dynamic array of size 10. And then after that, we need to define the memory space of each element. So we need to say size of, that's our size of function, of a integer. And we can save this and that's how we create a dynamic array with the calloc statement after you have created your dynamic um, array it's always good programming practice to go and check if the program was in fact able to go and create that dynamic memory so what we can do is we can ask with an if statement if pointer is equal to null, we know that the program was not able to allocate that dynamic memory for the array. So we can just tell the user not enough memory, for instance. But else we can work with our newly created dynamic array. After your application or your coding is done, before your, you exit your program or the return zero statement is called, we always need to free our memory. And that's very important. And it's the same with malloc and it's going to be the same with calloc, the dynamic memory allocation for arrays. We need to free that memory Otherwise, if we don't free it, that memory will still be allocated after the program has ended. 
and that means that no other application will be able to use that memory until the memory is cleaned or the computer or device is switched off and on again so it's very important to be um, it's very important to free that memory otherwise that memory will be in uh, or allocated and not be able to use by any other application and that could create memory problems when you run other applications after this application was compiled and run okay so very important to free so we call the free function and all that we do is we say free ptr as easy as that so we free and we calloc to create a dynamic array so let's create a counter variable called i just to check if we can actually have a for loop that will be able to store values inside this array just to prove that everything works so we have an array of size 10 so we will count from 0 to 9 then i plus plus and i'm just going to basically dereference or i can just say ptr sorry and then i is equal to and let's say i times 2 so we will store um, the values of 0 2 4 6 8 in and so forth inside this newly created dynamic array and then we're just going to use a printf statement to check if that values are in fact inside that very array that very same array so what we will do is we will say percentage d and yeah that's fine and we will say ptr oops wrong button i great and now what we can do is we can go and save this let's double check i will count from zero to smaller than 10 that's to nine we are going to say ptr brackets i is equal to i times two okay meaning that it's zero times two it's zero then one times two is two so it's zero two four six eight ten four ten times great so let's build and run and see what's going on here so there's one small little error there oops a semicolon not a comma so we build and run and now what we can see is inside this newly created dynamic array the values 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 and 18 is stored so we could in fact store values in our newly created dynamic array so we can assume that our array is working and we have now a dynamic array of size 10 that we can use what you can do as well is the reason why dynamic memory memory allocation is so nice after you've done this step for instance and you're not done with your compute your program you can go and create this again and if you need a bigger array you can make this 50 and then do some calculations and then at the end free the pointer again so you can increase and decrease the size of this dynamic array throughout your program just know that first you need to free the memory before you can call a continuous allocation or memory allocation again so you can go and create a new array of size 50 after you have freed all the space there and you can go on and make a bigger array or you can make a smaller array depending on your needs so that's the the idea of dynamic memory allocation and in this example dynamic memory allocation for arrays so we use the calloc statement to create 10 um, entities or elements of size int so it's in fact an array and then we always check if the program was able to allocate that memory if not 
we give error message to the user and then else we can go on and you can play with that newly created dynamic memory. Thank you for watching ladies and gents. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and I'll hope to see you soon.